hello this is a quick video about how to use the simulink in MATLAB if you can see this icon here in your MATLAB all have the same version if you click it you open up with this uh, with this library browser okay okay if you need to build a model first thing you need to make press this icon or go to file and make a new model all right then click it okay you find open up with uh, white paper white uh, model here you need to add if you need to for example if you need to make some uh, signals and the scope of it and you need to draw uh, that signal or make some calculation of that okay for example if you if you're looking for something and you do not know where to find just uh, print it here or uh, some letters of it for example if you need to find the constant just c o n s or, or just c o n you will find something similar to constant will be appear here okay first one is constant you just click and drag it into this model okay if you don't need to uh, click and drag it just make this add to untitled okay Okay, now if you need to uh, display this value, you need something called display. This on the presenter, it will find somewhere here. Display. If you know the, the spelling, display. For example, display this one, yes. And you click this, drag and make it over here. If you double click it, for example, 7, uh, click start, run the simulation, you will find 7 here. If you need to gain this times something here, for example, for example, gain, <coughs> you'll find this the first one. You could select any one of these. Just select this. You can just click it and bring it right here. It will be automatically uh, linked like this. Okay, for example, it's two. It will be seven times two will be fourteen. Start. See the result. Okay. If you need to make some addition of two values, for example, uh, for example, seven and um, if you if you just uh, if you just uh, click your mouse here and click Control and drag this one will appear the next one, or simply just make copy and paste here, okay? As you need, okay? If you need to some make some addition or subtraction, just click Add, take this one make it here for example if you need to make a uh, subtraction just click as you need here for example minus it will be plus minus if you can if you if you need to increase the number of sign it will be simple here just click as you need as input as you need for example okay just I need to this time for example plus plus I need to keep this one bring it here and this one for example I needed two or 3 for example 3 plus 14 will be 17 I think yeah okay start see simulation all right now if you need to you if you increase your model and you don't need to see it like that you can make create subsystem for example you <coughs> for example just click this right click and go to create subsystem okay it's very simple can start run this is your model inside it okay if you need to uh, define this as x1 as input 1 and this as x2 just make like me here okay and this is called for example y mm, okay it's very nice start everything is going great okay now if you need to take this value the output of this value and goes to your um, and deals with it in your workspace for example uh, go to simulink take uh, some block called out yeah this one click and drag and link it here okay any signal will be will be uh, goes to some variable for example it's way out in this time if you double click it um, Okay, for now it's uh, it's called way out. We'll see later how to change the name if you need to change it. 
So the duration time, if you click configuration, if you need to see the, the simulation time, for example, go to configuration parameters, you will find here the final time. And this variable step, uh, you can use fixed step as you need. So the simulation time will be from 0 to 10. So each time from 0 to 10, you will obtain this value, it will be 17. It will, it will be appear in the workspace after after a minute okay when you run the simulation just start okay you'll find here way out if you go to your command window just click way out you find 17 if you need to, to see that uh, there's two values in, in the simulation here uh, two vectors actually the, f the first one is for time and the second one for the value of y t out uh, of y out T out is the, the time for simulation, it will be fine, the minimum will be 0 and maximum will be 10. If you need to uh, see it here in your command window, just click T out. Okay, it's variable step side there, it's not fixed all the time, but um, here it appears maybe it's fixed here. Mm -hmm. If you need to uh, uh, print it uh, with each other, Y out. Okay. If you need to, um, yeah, that's all. That's all. Uh, the simulation time from zero to ten, and the uh, output all is seventeen. So this is that's all for my le first lecture about Simulink. Uh, next video will show some uh, advanced math uh, operation. You make it here. So see you next video. I hope this video will be uh, helpful for you. If you have any comments or question, please. Uh, uh, leave it in your comments. Thank you for watching.